Preparing for an Adobe Connect session on Windows. 1. Minimize distractions and interruptions by turning off phones and email. Let others around you know that you will be unavailable and for how long. Post a note on your office door. 2. Restart your computer prior to starting the session. Three. Close other applications, particularly bandwidth-intensive programs. Be sure to check for other programs running in the background. 4. Ensure, if possible, that you have a wired physical high-speed internet connection. If you're on a laptop, disable the wireless by flicking the wireless switch. 5. Log in to Adobe Connect through its room's web address with the login credentials that were sent to you. If you cannot enter, choose the Forgot Password link to reset your password. As a last resort, enter as a guest using your full name. Try to arrive 10 minutes prior to the start of the session to ensure that required software is installed and to configure audio and video. 6. When loading the Connect room, you may be required to install supporting software. Also, click Allow if prompted for permission to access system volume and webcam. Note. You can still retain all control of when and if you share audio and video inside the meeting. No one can access these features without your permission. 7. Upon entering the meeting room, run the audio setup wizard found under the meeting menu, which will step you through a process that checks that your speakers and mic are configured properly. 8. Step 1 of the wizard verifies that you can hear sound through your speakers. The blue bar will increase as the sound plays. If you cannot hear anything, there are a few things you can try. A. Turn on speakers in Adobe Connect and adjust speaker volume. The icon should be green. B. Unmute your computer sound. If your system is muted, you won't hear any sound from Adobe Connect or video and audio files you may have. C. Turn your volume up. It may be very low. Some computers have physical buttons to manage muting and volume, but otherwise you can manage this in Windows. D. If you are using a headset that has volume controls, check them to ensure that the volume level is turned up and is unmuted. E. Try diagnosing the issue to seek clues to its cause. Can you hear video and audio files on your computer but not connect? What happens if you unplug your headset and try the internal speakers? Does the issue happen on another computer? If you are hearing an echo, it usually means that a microphone, yours or another's, is picking up speaker sound from the connect room and retransmitting it. The way to avoid this is to use a headset, or if using the internal microphone, also use headphones to separate the two. 9. In step 2 of the wizard, you select an input device to use to transmit your own audio. Select the appropriate device from the drop-down menu and click Next. 10. Step 3 verifies that audio is being recorded properly. Click the Record button and begin speaking. The blue bar should fluctuate with your voice as you speak. Click the stop button when you are done recording and then click play recording to play the recorded clip back. 11. Step 4 of the wizard requires that you remain silent while Connect analyzes background noise such as fans, air conditioning, traffic and wind. Connect will attempt to reduce the amount of ambient background sound. The blue progress bar will continue to increase until the procedure is complete.